Heck love bugs, this is I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you enjoyed my video and you like what you heard, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for coming by my channel and seeing what I'm about today. And from our returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you as always. And thank you so much for the love and support and coming by, coming by to see about my video today. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you too. Today, my meditation video I'm listening to is relaxed meditation music with wind chimes, instrumental bamboo flute for yoga, reiki, and zen. And I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. Y'all yeah, like meditating and stuff like this? It is so peaceful. Like if you are like me, I'm allergic to almost pretty much nature, period. <laughs> like grass, some certain type of trees, certain type of bushes, certain type of flowers. Allergic to everything, but love nature to death. But, you know, it's just like I love to listen to this, you know, even when it's like allergy season gets real bad, so I can't really sit outside. So I like to meditate and stuff like this because it makes me feel like I'm outside anyway. But my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hell, could you walk and talk and talk and walk? Please do. You know, when we go about our days, you know, especially if you're like a YouTuber or you're just doing me, doing like I do, you know, telling your story, you know, getting your, you know, your journey out there where you're helping people mirror what they need to learn about themselves, teaching themselves how to open up to love. But you know, you know, there's more than us just out there, you know. And it's just like when I, I do my videos about past trauma and letting things go and moving on to the next chapter and stuff like that you know i feel like you know there's some days that i get in my feelings on my own life you know what well, we all get in our feelings sometimes and you know when i make my videos and it's just like you know what i was reading my certain numbers because i told y'all my um like my dad said starfish and coffee girl so i i have a thing about numbers i read numbers all the time and i'm just like okay what does this number mean to me you know if i see a certain thing happen in front of me that is just way out the norm that I probably wouldn't think anything of it. I'll look it up anyway and it ended up being a good thing. So it, it's just like, you know, it was telling me you need to walk and talk and, you know, in your earnest truth. Because it's just like some days, you know, when things happen and it's just like about my situation, if you've been, been on this journey for a while, you'll know. You know, I see a lot of things and it's like really hard to heal when you lost a loved one and then they just so happen to be a celebrity and then you're hearing all these crazy things about what your family said or what your family's doing or what they're doing about your father and all this crazy stuff and it's just like I get worried about stuff like that and it's just like you know what like I try to tell anybody you know you can't sit here and worry about stuff like that but yet I was doing that so I'm just like you can't sit up here and do that but you tell other people not to do it so I sat back and I had to really reflect on the things and how you know things that was going on around me and I said you know what you can't change what they put out there in the media you don't know if it's true if they said these things or not because you did not see them you know they post things about people every day, you know, no telling what will happen if they, you know, things get out about you, what they will say. That's why I always make sure I, you know, I keep it one under with everybody because nobody can't backtrack and say, oh, well, she said this and she said that and she went about this. No, <laughs> no, I keep it straight real with you. I keep it real. Y'all see me in my ups and downs, my highs, my lows, you know, and I feel like, you know, I'm an open book when it comes to things like that. There are certain things that I choose not to talk about because of certain you know for certain reasons but that's just anybody but it's just like when you're out there make sure what you believe in is just what you believe in and you go about it all the way don't half-ass it don't go halfway go in it full pledge you know go head on don't don't be 
you know, don't get timid about it because you know this is the mission you're supposed to be on. You know what you're going for is not going to be easy. There's going to be days that's going to be scary. It's going to be confusing it sometimes. You know, and it was just like with me and my daughter today. You know, she always wants to watch new scary movies. And, you know, I'm like that too. She got it for me. And it's just like, it's anything, you know, that always has a message behind it. When it comes to people, if you're a movie watcher like me, I pick out certain movies, and even though it's like people say it's not good to watch horror movies all the time, but it looks like I was raised up on them, so it, it's just like my life has been a horror movie, so there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing like that, that, you know, it, I mean, it can scare me, but it's just like it's not going to keep me really up at night. I've had things that kept me up at night, but we were watching this movie, Truth or Dare, and you know, I'm not going to get into the ending or anything like that, because I know people probably haven't watched it yet and that was a really good movie and it was crazy it was a really good movie but it was crazy but the subliminal message I got out of that is just like don't be a pushover and I've been that way because I've had a heart and I would see things and try to put a blind eye on it and I always try to see the good in people that's you know with us we always do that you know indigos and, uh you know light workers um, you know, shamans or, you know, twin flames or even, you know, hayokas. We all do that. We we'll always try to see the good in people, even though we might see the bad things or we might hear the bad things. We always see the good in people. And you have to live in your truth. Or if not, your truth is going to eat you alive. It's, whatever you try to hide is going to eat you alive. It's going to basically kill you if you don't, you know, learn your truth and live by your truth. If you can't see your truth for what it is, because sometimes what we, when we look in the reflection, it's just you got to be able to enjoy what you see, because that's the only person you got. You stuck with you. <laughs> you are stuck with what you got, but you got to make sure the reflection is the best thing that you love to see. You got to be able to look at yourself in the morning like, I love you. <laughs> you got to be able to do that. You got to be able to do that and believe in what you believe in. Believe in yourself. Find that courage. Talk, talk your walk and walk your talk. I'm telling you, because when I saw that movie, and I was just like, every movie I watch, it always has a subliminal message to it. And if you know, even when you read a book, after you read that book, and you know what kind of, you know, it could be an action, it could be a mystery, it could be a love novel or something like that. You have to think about the meaning behind it. What are you getting behind it? Now, I don't know if you watched like Full Metal Jacket or Scarface, you know, I, 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 <laughs> I don't know about all that. But you have to really look at the, the message behind the stuff like that, you know. And it was just like when I watched this movie, you know, if you want to watch that movie, if you, you know, you like horror movies like that, that movie was off the chain. It was crazy. It was really crazy. But, um, and what made it so bad, that girl ended up being a daggone YouTuber. And I was like, dog, <laughs> I was like, that's creepy. But, you know, it was just basically how people, it, it would, you know, it would make you basically, whatever your fear was, the things that you didn't want people to know, it was bound to come out. It's bound to come out. So you have to be able to just face it. Don't hide from it. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. You might be able to surrender, but don't resist. Because it's just like, it's a bad feeling when you sit up here and you fight that urge when there's stuff that you know you need to heal from things that you know you need to let go of I fight them every day I'm not going to lie to you I fight my my pain every day and just to know I'm making it every day when you give yourself that chance to just say you know what I'm not going to let what I'm going through keep on hindering me from doing what I need to do or keep me in that, that loop where I want to have to keep thinking about it over and over and over again because there's nothing you can change about what happened to you. There's nothing. There's nothing we can change. We can't change the past. No matter how painful it is, even when we wish we could, there's many things I would love to change, but it, like I said in many videos, it's brought to me brought me where I had to be, and I said, wow, you know, I sacrificed my happiness to be able to tell a story about me going through things and 
realizing who I am. You know, when I first made my video, it was just about, you know, finding out who my mom is, reuniting with my dad's side of the family, getting to know my family, let them know what I went through just because of whose daughter I was. You know, I went through a lot of things, you know, my adopted father didn't want me to be anything like my father and I'm just like my father. You know, I love to play the instruments, I love to sing, you know, all that. I wanted to erase all that, but you can't you can't fight what you have in you. And that was one thing he wanted me to do. He wanted me to resist, he wanted me to cover it up. But I'm part of who I am. You know, um you know, I'm able to help people help help people heal, help people get closure in some kind of way. You know, I was uh, going through my book that I wrote an autobiography about the things that I went through. And it was a hard thing to do. It really was. It was a really hard thing to do because it's just the fact is when you're going, when you have went through things and you let them go, it's hard to reread the pain that you had to go through and had to open up that wound all over again. You know, just go ahead and edit and add on some more things on my book. Because it's just like this movie, Rose Red, is not finished until it says it's finished. And I actually thought my book was finished, but no, I'm still going through things, still learning more things about myself. So there's more things I got to add on to my book. So it's just when you're going through things, don't resist the things that you need to change. Face them head on. They're there for a reason. It's just you have to use your pain as, as that push to get you through. And I know that's probably a crazy thing. You're like, what you talking about? Use your pain. You you take everything that you got, that you went through, that has hindered you for so long, and you, you use that as a tool. Like, you put it in front of you. You put whatever it is in front of you that has held you there for so long, and you use it like an imaginary punching bag. And just say, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to beat you up out of my life. I'm not going to even allow you to even keep me from what I'm doing. I'm going to walk my walk and talk my talk and keep going. Be that best version I can be. So I'm not trying to hold you up today. You see, I make like a five or seven minute video, but you know, I got a little bit longer today because I got all up in my conversation. So um, I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a line. Let me know what's up. I love to hear from you. And give me a thumbs up. Share if you, if you feel like you can. And I will talk to you on my next video. Much love. I will keep you in my prayers. And I hope you definitely keep me in yours. And I will see you on my next video. Peace.